I want to thank Sharon Sprung for capturing everything I love about Michelle. Her grace, her intelligence, and the fact that she's fine. <laughs> but what I love about Robert's work is that he paints people exactly the way they are, for better or worse. <laughs> he captures every wrinkle on your face, every crease in your shirt. You'll note that he refused to hide any of my gray hairs, <laughs> refused my request to make my ears smaller. <laughs> Growing up on Euclid Avenue, mommy, um, I never could have imagined that any of this would be part of my story. A girl like me, she was never supposed to be up there next to Jacqueline Kenny, Kennedy and Dolly Madison. Uh, she was never supposed to live in this house, and she definitely wasn't supposed to serve as First Lady. Love you, Michelle. <laughs> but what we're looking at today, a portrait of a biracial kid with an unusual name, <laughs> and the daughter of a water pump operator and a stay-at-home mom, what we are seeing is a reminder that there's a place for everyone in this country. Because as Barack said, the two of us can end up on the walls of the most famous address in the world. Then again, it is so important for every young kid who is doubting themselves to believe that they can too. That is what this country is about. It's not about blood or pedigree or wealth. It's a place where everyone should have a fair shot. 